Hi guys, how you all doing? I hope you're all doing well. Welcome to my channel. This is Good Morning Tom. Today I'm going to be talking about a book I just finished reading. Uh, it's a book by Safar Cunyol. I don't know, I probably pronounced that wrong. If so, my apologies for that. The book is called England's Green and it looks like this. It's from Faber and Faber, one of my favorite publishers. So I just finished reading this. It took me a couple of weeks actually to read it very well. I uh, bought it back in Brussels the beginning of January and I've just finished it. Um, so it isn't a very thick book, but it took me quite a while to get through. I, however, I finished it and I really enjoyed it. Um, it just was a bit more difficult to read at times. Um, probably also because I'm from the Netherlands, English is not my first language, so some words were difficult, but um, I made it through, looked up a lot of words, and I really thought it was a wonderful collection. As far as I know, this is his second poetry book, and he lives in West Yorkshire, um, born in Birmingham, and um, this is his second poetry book, as I said. His first book is called Us. I don't have that one, might get it. So it looks like this, and I really like the green, because, you know, it really suits the title, of course. Um, so I started reading this, and for me this felt like a new way of poetry, if that makes any sense. This is really good, you know, he experiments with language, so he really finds new ways to look at words, um, which was very exciting and really good, I thought. So I think he's very talented, so it's really cool that he does that. So this, this feels different from poetry I've read. Um, so I immediately was drawn to the first poem. It's called Foxglove Country. Um, I think there is a video on YouTube where he reads the poem, so check that one out. It's really good and it's a beautiful example of the wordplay I just talked about. Um, there were quite a few poems that I really liked. As always, I didn't put papers in here, I just read. Um, so what I did with this book, I think I read, I've read like four poems a day because it was pretty intense reading it because I had to try to get to the essence and it was a bit difficult for me, but that could be my problem. Um, but whenever, the way I read this, like four poems a day was really good because um, I really tried to focus and read it as good as I could. So, and it brought me some beautiful images, so that was great. Yeah, he talks about landscape he talks about his mother um in all beautiful in a beautiful way um remembering things yeah and it's just very creative there was a beautiful poem called snope drop over um let me just look up the one that i really liked oh i really like that poem daylight which was very short but you know, really, really beautiful tulips. I really like that poem, uh, especially because I'm a Sylvia Plath fan. I really love her poetry. And this was a great poem. But I have to say, if you start reading poetry, this might be a bit too, too hard to start with. But if, you're, if you've read more poetry, I would definitely try this. Um, but be gentle with it, I would say. Just take your time and dig into the poems. This was a great book for just like reading three poems a day or whatever. I couldn't really just read the entire collection at once, but again, that could also be me, I don't know. It could also be the language barrier maybe, I don't know. So yeah, I have to say I'm very pleased with the books um, from Faber and Faber. I always, most of the time, I like their poets. Check this one out if you don't want to buy the collection. Just check this just check the poet out on YouTube. You can find some you can find some of his videos where he's reading some poems. So yeah, you might want to do that. So that's it for now. Um, in case you haven't subscribed to my channel, please make sure you do. I would love to have you on board. I would love to talk to you. You can always leave a comment. I'll read them and um, try to comment back. Um, Thank you so much. Hope you have a lovely day or night and talk to you soon.